Hey everybody, it's Derek Comartin from CodeOpinion.com, and today we're going to take a look at Exception Lists, the real-time error, feature, and log reporting tool for .NET. So first and foremost, let's talk about Exception Lists, just what it does briefly, and we can get right into some code and look at the UI and see what it does. Um, if you go to exceptionless.com is the main entry point and you can sign up for free to use the hosted service. However, this is completely open source and available on GitHub. So if you want to host it yourself, there's documentation here uh, for self-hosting. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I've done it myself. But take a look at the hosted version just to save you some hassle. The prices are reasonable as well as a free model. So just briefly about what Exceptionless is, uh, based on the name you can take a guess that it's for capturing exceptions, but it does a lot more than that. Um, you can also capture and record different logs, feature usages, there's a lot to Exceptionless. I find the UI great, um, I love using this product, so I figured I'd share it with the world because I'm not sure how many people are aware of it yet. So whether you're self-hosting or using the uh, hosted model, um, on exceptionalist.io, which I'm doing here for this example. Um, so I have, I've set up my account, uh, I've logged in, and the first thing I actually need to do is create a project. So I'm going to create this demo project, and what I love about Exceptionalist here is it's actually pretty straightforward on giving you the information on how to set up within your application. So for my example, I'm going to be using SP.NET uh, MVC, and it can show you that what the packages you need to install and your API key. So let's set up uh, Exceptionalist in our MVC app. So I'm going to copy the install package command, jump over to Visual Studio. What I have here is just a file new MVC project. So this is pretty much the blank demo app. We can see the readme about um, adding our Exceptionalist API key in our uh, web config. So let's do that. Let's copy this out and open up our web config. And we see how our have our section. There's our exception list um, API key that we need to fill out. So let's jump back over to our browser and copy it from their site, from the UI. Back over here. Save that. So let's do the simplest possible thing to get an exception into exception list. So I'm going to jump over to the home controller. In the index action, I'm going to create a new exception. Um, let's write, oops, something went wrong. And there's an exception, uh, an extension method called to exception list. And then we can call dot submit. So this should submit it to exception list. So let's run it in the browser. Once everything loads and hits the index action, uh, we can go over now and check exception list. So once this loaded, we can go over to exception list and now we see our error. Um, or exception that we invoked. All right, so let's do one more typical thing, which would be to catch all exceptions that are happening in our MVC app and have them sent to exception list. So let's jump back over to uh, Visual Studio and I'm going to go into our home controller. Instead of submitting it here, let's for this demo just throw an exception. And then we're going to jump over to the global ASICs, and I'm just going to paste a little snippet here, um, which is going to do our application error, and pretty much do the same thing. It's just going to get the last error and then uh, call to exception list and then submit it. So if we run now, we can see an exception happens. And we get our wonderful server error. Jump back to exception list. We can see our other exception happened. And it shows that it happened a few seconds ago. And let's take a look at this exception a little bit clearer. Um, it shows you the method that it happened, what the exception type was. There's a lot of great useful information here. So that's a quick getting started with exception list. I plan on doing more videos related to deeper functionality within Exceptionalist in the UI, 
and how you can integrate with other logging libraries such as Log4Net and Nlog. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more .NET related videos.